back to another Talking Fitchburg update. It's a construction update with our Fitchburg construction projects going on here in the city of Fitchburg. Each week we will be focusing uh, on what's going on, give you an update, and uh, we'll keep bringing my friend Bill Balky back here. Bill is your transportation engineer extraordinaire. Bill, Hello. welcome back. Another week. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Glad you're doing healthy. We're practicing our social distancing uh, still, Bill. Make sure you put up the microphone up yeah, to your face. Four and a half feet between us yeah. here. Mm -hmm. It's a little close. Four and a half feet. What? Oh, that's six feet. <laughs> <laughs> television makes it look closer. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bill, let's get right into it. Uh, we'll start with the Fish Hatchery Road construction project. People have now seen that the barrels are up and work is uh, happening in the medians. Yes, they are. They're out there uh, constructing some driveway crossovers for the businesses on the east side of the road. Uh, we're in, uh, installing the temporary traffic signals at Post Road, Greenway Cross, and the utilities are out there currently relocating up at Greenway Cross to try to, to get out of the way of construction for our rural projects. Yeah, after we finished up our update last week, I drove up through there kind of get an idea and I saw they were putting in uh, the big uh, posts uh, for uh, the uh, uh, traffic lights and all of that, mm -hmm. uh, which some of them look pretty sketchy <laughs> the way they go in, but uh, they're pretty uh, dug pretty deep into the ground. So uh, uh, either way, that's uh, moving along. Any other updates up there? Yeah, over the next couple of weeks, what you're going to see is continuing uh, the uh, the driveway construction. They're going to be uh, constructing the crossovers at the north and south end of the project uh, near Traceway Drive and then up north of Greenway Cross near the Beltline. And then um, probably the week of the 20th, we're looking at switching all the traffic over to the southbound lanes. Uh, where you'll have one lane of travel in each direction with turn lanes, and then they're going to construct the northbound lanes between Traceway Drive and Greenway Cross. Yeah, so that one-way traffic, uh, is the speed limits going to be changing in the, zo on the, the zones here? Uh, currently, they're posted at 30 miles an hour, and they'll remain 30 miles an hour in that zone, so no. That's, and that's just part of the part of a planning process, though, that uh, the speeds were already pretty much were safe within doing this two-way traffic? Correct. If, if they were posted at 40 or plus miles an hour, we would be reposting those for 30 miles an hour. Oh, thanks for breaking it down. I want to make sure. I gotta, sure. We, we got to understand this. Break yeah. it down. Let me yeah. ask you the hard questions, Bill. Right. Uh, and then, as you said, the northbound, how long do we think that northbound sign will be closed then? I mean, obviously, weather and everything plays a role into this, but how long will that construction take uh, before they switch it back uh, and put that two-way traffic on that side? Uh, we're, we're looking at trying to get everything accomplished by uh, the first week in July. Uh, so then we'll be switching the traffic over uh, to the southbound lanes or the flipping it around, I guess. So, so just take your time. We'll certainly uh, let you know when that uh, happens. You've got, you've heard it here though from uh, from my friend Bill that uh, uh, it will be happening here real quick. So yeah. moving right along. Yes. Um, any other uh, any other updates on Fish Hatch, or we'll move on to McKee. We can move on to McKee. Well, fine, Bill. We'll move on to McKee. Uh, let's uh, dive right in here, Bill. What are we looking at for McKee Road? First, tell me just where this construction's happening. Uh, the city portion of McKee Road will be constructed between Commerce Park Drive and Seminole Highway, and then also a couple hundred feet north and south on Seminole Highway. Uh, that construction will uh, be a, a two-lane reconstruction uh, on both sides of the road, um, some intersection improvements at Seminole, and uh, we'll be putting off-road off bike trails on both sides of the road. So uh, the pedestrian bridge at Badger Street, there will be a pedestrian bridge installed at the Badger Street Trail, so the road crossing will go away. And you'll be able to connect up to that bridge uh, off of the pathway with some on-ramps, similar to what's over on the Military Ridge Trail. So uh, will they remove the crosswalk there then? So you'll just take the bridge to get over, get across? Is that... That's uh, that. We're, that's what we're looking at here. Well, I didn't know a pedestrian yeah. needs to keep that pedestrian crosswalker. They just everybody uses the bridge there. Everybody will be using the bridge from then on. I know you think it's a dumb question, Bill, no, but no, I am I, challenging you. I like those lights there. Yes. I'm just saying. Well, the lights will actually get moved. Uh, we've got another application over on Sunwell Highway where the trail crossings are over there that we're looking to relocate those over there. Well, I'll be. See? Good question. Yes. Good question. Good segue. You're like, that. whatever. <laughs> Just zip it. Um, and then uh, you did want to note that there is construction back to the Verona Road, uh, and that's part of the Verona Road project. Uh, so just mentioning that, that that's 
still happening too, and that goes uh, from where to where, Bill. Verona Road, uh, or as part of the Verona Road project, McKee is going to be reconstructed from um, Fitzrona Road all the way through to Commerce Park Drive. Uh, that section there will be a, a two or three lane section uh, on road. Uh, they'll have on road bike lanes as well and sidewalk accommodations on both sides. The, the intersection over at uh, KPEC and Nesbitt uh, will be modified so that it's uh, restricting the left turns out of KPEC and, and Nesbitt. So that signal will go away and then there will be some modification to that intersection there. Yeah, that uh, and we, we knew about that, that that was going to go that direction. Um, a while ago, but uh, finally it would be put in place. Uh, has there been any bigger traffic impacts in there now with the, the construction going on, or are things still moving about as best they can? They're actually uh, trying to get ahead of the schedule um, with the reduced traffic that's out there. They're monitoring it weekly, but um, with the reduced traffic, they're um, they're increasing the construction times that they have to work out there. So they're trying to get things done a little quicker while there's less traffic out there. And uh, they've been moving from Fitzrona down the hill, um, getting ready for temporary pavement to move traffic around in that area for the various stages. Gotcha. Well, we'll uh, we'll check back in on that one uh, uh, all the way down to Summit, and we'll check back in right. and see uh, how that uh, is going. Finally, any updates uh, over on one of my favorite projects, Fahey Glen, uh, is that uh, I was driving through there today. They were bringing in some... Uh, Look like you some utility stuff. I, I really don't know because I'm not a construction guy. But uh, what's going on over there? Yeah, Faye Glen. They're they're finishing up with the utilities with the water sewer uh, construction, the storm sewer and things, making those connections. Uh, they'll be bringing in a rock within the next couple of weeks, so you'll start to see a ro actual roadway coming in through there while, while they grade things out. And we're still looking at probably a July time frame to have everything wrapped up. Yeah, they're moving pretty quick on it. So uh, mm -hmm. they got started pretty early and just picking up where they left off last year. So okay. makes it a little bit easier. All right, Bill, if people want to find out more information on any of these projects, where can they go? FitchburgWI.gov. You, you remembered. I remember. <laughs> Bill, I appreciate the time. Uh, we'll continue to pass on the information here uh, with Bill uh, next week. And uh, again, hoping to get out in, uh, in about any of these construction projects with you as well. Uh, we're just uh, practicing, uh, again, limited access here to City Hall. So we'll get out there eventually and take a look at those projects in person. All right. Stay safe. You got my hard hat yet? I do. Oh. All right, that is your construction update. In all seriousness, all of this is available at the website, fitchburgwi.gov, just go under Public Works and the Engineering tab, and you'll get everything you need to know on all of these. Stay safe, put the cell phones down in those construction zones, and we'll check back in with you next week.